Welcome everyone to famed Sanford City in between the hedges in Athens, Georgia, home to the Bulldogs and 90,000 of their closest friends. This is an important matchup, a battle of two top 10 teams, two forces colliding. One team will leave here making a big statement. As we'll see the number six team in the country, the Alabama Crimson Tide, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Bulldogs will kick it away to get this game going. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So Alabama's will get the first crack on offense today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start, Kirk. So much for this offense and this whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there, and it's up to him to create an orc. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Potentially a touchdown-saving tackle, but not before a long completion. Boy, nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. Makes a quick grab. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. This is what makes the RPO so difficult to defend if you have a quarterback who can read it. It's that old argument, which guy has the chalk last? Well, with a quarterback that can read it like that, the quarterback has the chalk last. He reads that they're up, makes the throw in the quick slant, gets some really good yards. First and goal, handoff. Couldn't quite get there, brought down at the two. Oh, the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line. You love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Bama. This is why this offense is one of the more dangerous offenses in the country. The quarterback and his legs. It's one thing to try to stop him throwing the football, but you better keep eyes on him because you can see not only can he get out into the open, he has got serious speed to take it to the house. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open scoring. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Return starts from inside the five. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And here comes the other star wide receiver on the field. This is really an elite group in college football this season. And both these guys belong in that group. Yeah, these guys have been chirping back and forth at each other in social media throughout the week. I want to see who has the better day because chances are that's the team that's going to win today. They'll tackle him at the 27. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid gain here. Keeps you on schedule, and you get ready for that next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. He's a wide-open receiver, complete. Big gain across midfield, all the way down to the 34-yard line. 
That's one way to be able to move the football up the field in a hurry. These are the types of plays that can really galvanize an offense. See what the call is on first and ten. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Brought down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Great offenses are able to stay ahead of the chains, and runs like that on first down are exactly what I'm talking about. Now you have a lot that you can call here on this second down. Second down after that run on the previous play. Gives it to the back. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fit, stay holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. So it's third and short from the opponent's 28. Let's see what the play call is here. They're already in field goal range, but thinking about the end zone. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. And the junior gets home making a sack there. I like the call here, but you can't run long, developing play-action passes like that if the offensive line is not going to give the quarterback time to throw. We'll see if the offense can overcome that sack second and long. Using his legs, it's ETN. And he's brought down after a short gain does not take the first down yardage. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but it is third down and long. To throw, it's back. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17, strong job by the coverage team. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? Tries the right with a quick throw. And he's got his man open downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. You know, Chris, if we would have told Bear Bryant that Alabama would have a wide receiver that won a Heisman in recent years, I don't think he would have believed us. But that's where we are. They've been some great ones in the past, and we're seeing some great-looking receivers on this unit right now. Alabama comes up with the line quickly. They'll run it here. The sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Second down after that previous play. The 
with some pre-snap movement. Back in motion. Caught behind the line. It's Haynes. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Third down after that running play. Scanning the field, it's Milrow. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. That moves the football inside the 40, and it's another first down. Well, when you play zone defense on third down and you don't get pressure from your defensive line, you're going to give a quarterback a lot of time to be able to find an open receiver and eventually get the first down. Not surprised at all that they're able to convert. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. Alabama getting set with a first and 10 coming up. And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Grab down the middle. It's Adams. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. This defense has got to do a better job in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, and this offense could have 50 on you by the end of this game. Alabama has now moved into the red zone. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Got space. Looking to score. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. Handoff here from the shotgun his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Chris, it's a great touchdown run here by this back, but the continuity this offensive line was on display, and that's the reason he was able to get into the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. No problem with the PAT. The lead 14-3. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Bringing it out. It's Bell. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Tough to win these games kicking field goals. They know they need to reach the end zone this time. And they'll stop him short of the line of game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Movement here from the tight end. They'll give it to the back. Not much on that play. Brought down short. Interesting play call here. Third and short inside their own 20. They want to get this drive going, or a punt could give the opponents excellent field position. Looking for his big tight end. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. 
when he moves the ball to about the 45, that's good for a first down. Nice play action call here by this offensive coordinator. You know, you can freeze those linebackers just for a split second. Usually that's going to give you enough room to be able to get that tight end behind them. And if the quarterback can make a nice tight throw like this, pick up some big yards. Here comes a handoff. And that run produces a decent gain. It's a good, solid gain. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Again, makes it second and medium. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. Oh, what a cut. It's still going. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Really good patience here from the back. And anytime you have a big game like this, that means the receivers are doing their job as well at that second and third level of the defense, picking up some bigger blocks and helping them get even more yards. The dogs pick up enough yards to move the sticks. On first down, it's play action. Pass rush closing in. Hit as he releases it, and the pass falls incomplete. Man, you gotta love this if you're defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time, they got to him and forced that incompletion. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Looking to pass, it's back. Catch made along the sideline, but he's short of the sticks. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. George has moved into the red zone. A quick throw out left complete. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. Here comes the point after attempt. Pitch to point is good, and they draw within four, 14 10. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here comes the Alabama offense back out of the field. A little bit of my turn, your turn so far in the early going. Both offenses scoring touchdowns in their last possessions. Brought down for a loss after the completion. Not what they were looking for. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play. They're in position to bring him down for a loss. He went backwards on first down, so second and long from the 24. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Running back grabs it on a screen. Good job for the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down mark. You can see what the offense is trying to do here with this screen play, but they avoid disaster by at least getting a few positive yards. The defense doing a great job of anticipating the screen here. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? Touchdown, Alabama. Made the defense look slow that time. That's taking advantage of a matchup there, Chris, by the quarterback finding his receiver. He puts the ball up in the air where he can make a play on it, and they come up with that touchdown.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with a PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Now they get set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bell. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Solid run moves the ball out across the 20 to the 21. It's a really good, solid run. I know it's not the flashiest big play, but it's important for your offense to be able to get yards like that on early downs. You stay ahead of the chains, and it opens up the playbook for the second and third down coming up. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Tipped, and then drops. A chance to make a play, but instead it's third down. This secondary knows how to keep their eye on the football and how to break on the ball. I thought the receiver was open. I thought it was going to be a completion. It gives you an idea of how instinctive and how athletic he is by getting into the way of that and knocking it away. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Back to throw. It's back. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. Chris, great effort here by this defense to keep him short of the first down. Now they've got a tough decision to make here on this fourth down and short. The dogs will line up to kick it away. That's the first punt of the afternoon for this offense. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Ball we'll handed off. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he's got it again. Got the first down, now looking for more. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. To the whole place right at midfield as the offense starts with a first and ten. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Caught in the backfield. It's Haynes. Jukes to get past the man. That's a big game deep into enemy territory. Ball down near the 30. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. It's the two-minute warning. We've got a blowout developing here before halftime. Alabama getting set for the first and ten now. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Throws it to the right. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. So second down after the incompletion. And the quarterback dropping back. Let's it go quickly. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who looked his way wide open. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. You know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? Their own defense. And when I played, I used to have defensive guys come down and tell me when we'd have a long drive how much it would allow them to rest and go out and play dominant football. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down.
And here comes play number six on this drive. Look at the pass here on second down. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he's in. Touchdown. Tied. Planning up to try the extra point. And the extra point makes it an 18-point game, 28-10. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And they've got the returner corralled. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup it in a mission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. That's reeled in. It's love it. A timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. A completion makes it second down. Offense looking to throw the ball. Makes the grab. It's ETN. You get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Well, it's got to start somewhere, and, and there's a nice first down to keep this drive alive and hope to be able to create a little bit of momentum here near the end of the first half, trying to cut into this lead and get some points on the board. The Dodge hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Back to throw. It's Speck. And he lofts it toward the sideline. Pass ball is incomplete, but there was heavy contact, and here comes the penalty flag. Defense will have to regroup now after that 15-yard penalty. First and 10 now for the offense. And he'll set up to throw. Fires it to the wideout. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. Hey, guys up front lined up. It's first down. There's the snap. And he's looking to throw. He's going for a big play downfield. He's a wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down at the one yard line. What a play on the completion. But a lot of times, college quarterbacks, they're more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. Chris, we're still early in this football game. We're in the second quarter. This is a critical touchdown to get their confidence to believe that they can come back and still win this game. Extra point try coming now. BAT is good, makes it an 11 point game, 28 17. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Interesting position here. How aggressive do they get to try to add to this lead before halftime? The pocket breaking down. The pass is intercepted. Big takeaway. Now looking for a big return. It's a great return following the pick. They're finally able to get him down. 
I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. They went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. So they'll start this drive here with less than a minute remaining on the first half clock. Dropping back, it's back. Close to the tight end. Looks downfield, he connects with a wide open wide receiver. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Love to see an aggressive mindset following sudden change. The quick strike here. The defense barely has a chance to even get set up and get established before they have to deal with a big shot taken over their head. The Bulldogs come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. Here comes a first down pass attempt. The sure hands. It's ETN. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. So with only a few seconds left in the half, the field goal unit comes out of the field. Long enough and good. And those three points will finish off the first half and then take us to halftime. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Athens to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. And the wideout goes in motion. First play of the second half is a handoff. Running through the tackle. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. Well, this is exactly where you find out what you're made of as a team. When you're trailing, coming out of the half, how do you respond? Well, we know how this running back's going to respond. What a statement to get this second half started. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. And off in a single back formation. And he stopped after gaining four yards. So second and six. that keeps it on the option. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, oh man, was the defense ready for this play. The quarterback just searching for anywhere to go, looking for daylight, but couldn't find anywhere to go in the keeper. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Fires it to the wideout. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Great job by this defense once again on that third down. And now we get to fourth down. And you start to think about things here as we get into the second half, Chris. I know you go for it. You make it. Everybody's happy. If you go for it on fourth down and you don't get it, now you're giving your opponent the football in pretty good field position. And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. He'll call for the fair catch here. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. 
Remember, the last possession ended quickly. The interception on the first play. Let's see if they can do better here. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. With that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Oh, and he dropped it. You do not see that very often from this guy. He's going to bring up third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He breaks free. He escapes one man, but he'll be swallowed up in the play and taken down. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Looking to flip the field here. And that punt carries into the end zone, so a touchback. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Looking for the wide out. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball gets tipped and goes straight up into the air. That's anybody's ball. The defense does a really good job down in this area expecting the pass. The ball's in the air. Ball gets tipped. Keep in mind, the offense or the defense can get underneath that for a play. And the ball hits the ground for an incompletion. Running out of time in the pocket. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Promising start to the drive, but now two incompletions sets up a third and ten. Looking to throw it again. And he lofts it toward the left sideline. Catch made down inside the 20. Touchdown, Georgia. Still no answer for this offense. Looked like a total bust there. Easy pitch and catch like you'd see in a Tuesday practice. Yeah, that quarterback's eyes must have lit up on that play because you've got one of your players way downfield without any defender around him. The offense still out there. They'll set up to go for two here, trying to tie the game. They'll try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. And he's not going to get there. They come up empty and miss a chance to tie the game. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He 
he's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They had to punt the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Receiver makes the grab. And he'll pick up the first down, stop at the 27. You know, Chris, you think about it, efficiency has always kind of been the description of a great Alabama quarterback. Man, think about the playmakers that they've had over the last few years at this position. Jalen, Tua, Bryce Young recently. Just a different level of quarterback play and really gives this offense an edge to it. And the runner brought down after just a short game. Well, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. They tackle him at the 43, but that's enough for a first down. This is why you don't predetermine what to do with the ball as a quarterback. He wants to throw this as he rolls out to his right, but instead he keeps his eyes downfield, recognizes there's nobody open, so instead he decides to become the runner, and he's a real threat when he has the ball in his hands. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the gun, he looks for an open man. That pass is caught. Tackled, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 45. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now, and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. They make the tackle, but that's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 34. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back showing great patience the hole opens up and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards alabama getting set with a first and ten coming up and now the running backs got it again they tackle him behind the line a loss of four my gosh this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking the defense was zero in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. Now it's second down here. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. Caught over the middle. It's Prentiss. And they get him down after the completion. coming to the line they might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the court and he'll drop back here on third down and he's got his man open downfield tackle after he makes the first down as the seconds tick away here in the third quarter so Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here sitting in pretty good position as we wrap up the third quarter let's check out the game stats so far We're set now for the fourth quarter. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Defense cannot get off the field. The long drive continues. Tackled down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. 
And that's going to be a first down. And, and really, Chris, kind of surprised here in the fourth quarter not to see this defense dial up some pressure. They're just sitting back in the base, making it relatively easy for the offense to pick up a first down on the ground. For the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. To the air. It's Milrow. He's got it right near the end zone. And he scores. Touchdown, Bama. Kicking team out for the PAT try. Extra point puts him up nine now. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bring it out. It's Bell. Tackled at the 23, brought it out, tried to make a play, but good coverage that time. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Play action here on first down. Defense is coming after him. Junior steps up and makes an impact play. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Second down and long from the nine-yard line. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. He's running out of time here. Oh, the ball is loose. It's a mad scramble. And the defense jumps on the football. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. The defense adds six points. It's one thing for the defense to be able to create a turnover. It's another thing to be able to pick it up and take it into the end zone yourself. Coach makes the decision to go for a two-point conversion. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. He's swarmed by the defense. A great job here by the defense on this conversion. Nice heads-up play to prevent the two-point try. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to return it from near the goal line. The returner is brought down. Gets a starter in the next drive. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the tackle is made after a four-yard gain. So second and six. Empty set now. Five wide. Back to pass. It's back. Caught quickly. And he'll pick up the first down, stopped at the 27. Well, it's another positive play, but man, look at the clock and look at the score. You still need a couple touchdowns to be able to get yourself back into this game and have a chance to win it. So you got to keep moving here and keep taking those shots downfield. Fresh set of downs for the offense after that first down completion. And there's the handoff. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Again, makes it second and medium. 
Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. It's caught downfield. He has first down yardage at the 46. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. First down, looking to throw the football. Breaking tackles. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Pass caught, second down now. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. It's a quick grab. Even surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Wow, they get positive yards here. We have a sense that they wanted a little bit more with that pitch and catch. Offense moving closer to the line again after that catch. The pre snap motion from the offense. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Thomas. And that game will pick up a first down and move the football to the 36. Hey, it's got to start somewhere. That's a nice conversion here on third down. You got a long way to go, but maybe a little momentum here. Let's see what they can do coming off of that nice play. And the Bulldogs will hustle to the line to run the hurry up offense. And looking to throw now on first down. Grab behind the line. It's ETN. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Hey, they get some positive yards here. But just from sitting up here looking down, Chris, you kind of have a sense that they wanted a little bit more on that play. Offense cranking up the tempo now. No huddle. Looking to throw again. Let's it go quickly. He makes the grab. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. This guy's been such a big factor in this game. Already a couple touchdowns. Now they need the first down. They dial him up again, and he delivers. Georgia setting up with a first and ten now. Here comes a throw from the red zone, bringing pressure. And he just throws it away there. Safe move, had nobody open. And the long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. Scanning the field, it's back. This pass is caught. The stop made at the five. The offense will have first and goal now. And there's the tight end. I've been waiting to see him make a play, and this defense has done such a good job of eliminating him from being a factor in the game. I think it's a big reason that they have a nice lead. He finally makes an appearance for his first catch. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Here we go. First and goal. A touchdown here gets him right back into this game. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Touchdown, Bulldogs. This passing game is on fire today. Chris, they're not quite out of this game just yet. With under two minutes to go, they're down by nine. I'd kick the extra point here, make it a one-possession game, and then try to recover that onside kick, and you got a real shot. And they'll set up now for the extra point drop. He 
PAT is good. They still trail, though. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. The defense has all three timeouts remaining, so maybe they'll have to run a couple plays here. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Offense getting set. It's second down. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from the first down. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Crucial third down play coming up after that run. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball at the 34. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And the quarterback just kneels down. 